I go to the movies. What's from life? That's this one. Mm -hmm. And she has a light. I do. And I don't know why. Sometimes yeah. I take a walk and it gets dark and I have this light on. Look what else it does. Nothing, really. Oh. oh. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Yeah. It's like the green police are coming. Oh, and then you can do this and you can go like this. Magnet. Well, how about it? But we're not taking a walk right now. No. We don't even need this. <laughs> I think that's not. Doop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, we got to the movies on a very romantic date night. Yeah, it was about safety. Oh, it was about a safety light? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we went to the movies. It was date night. Yeah. And we saw a movie called... It was... I'm not ready yet. Oh. It was... It was the Christian guys' movies. The skit guys. And they're the skit guys. And they make little skits on the internet. And they decided to make a movie. Mm-hmm. And... It was a new thing they tried out. Yes. And this movie, it was called Family Camp. But not the family camp that was that's our church does. No, not like family camp. Our church camp. has family camp once a year also. But it's slightly different. Yeah, but they call it family camp. Yeah, the same name. <laughs> so, yeah. this movie, it is a comedy, a comedy in the vein of late 80s, early 90s kid comedies. Uh-huh. Where everything is absurd. But it isn't for kids, really. <laughs> Right. It's for families. It's supposed to, yeah. It's It's, for it's child friendly, but it isn't a story for children necessarily because it's all about adult relationships <laughs> and stuff like that. But <laughs> what's the word? It's not slapstick. What's the word? Some of it's slapstick. Okay. Yes. And, the and movie, just ridiculous. The movie has more CGI beaver than I would have thought. What well, more? Way more than I would have even <laughs> considered maybe would Which be a is, thing. I guess you could say it's a, sort of a critique is that the movie is obviously heavily drawing from other comedies. Like you have this comical beaver and it's obviously supposed to be sort of reminding you of the gopher in Caddyshack. And then the second scene of the movie, they do the thing where... The dad is upset that someone's trying to pass him on the road. That is a direct takeaway from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Yeah, and the humor is kind of like maybe a lot. Somewhere, There's a lot maybe. of stuff like this. Yeah. And, I mean, nothing That's against fine. the guys. That's fine. It's, they're like, oh, yeah, this, I've seen this before. I mean, when I was watching I it, it's this. like, I, I imagined a movie starring John Hamm and David Cross. <laughs> And if you see this movie Family Camp, you'll understand what that means. Maybe my wife no, doesn't No, I don't, because I don't know things. But there's a comedian named David Cross, who is an actor also, and you know who John Hamm is. I know Hamm about is. John Hamm. So it was kind of like, I was looking at these guys and thinking, this movie would have been much better <laughs> 20 years ago, starring John That's Hamm and David that. Cross. <laughs> this is a big move for the skip guys. They were trying out a new thing. Yes. So We like the skip guys. I love the skip guys. Yeah. But um, I mean, as far as as far as I know, this is the only Christian comedy movie. <laughs> yeah. But as far of as Christian kind. movies go, yeah. It uh, I mean, if the goal is to make you laugh because it's comedy, it succeeded. If you're into that kind of comedy, it, it it succeeded a few times. You know more than other Christian movies succeed in what they're trying to do. <laughs> and while this one was less about uh, Christian propaganda, yeah. yes. this movie uh, does g some good Christian satire, which if that's what you're going for, satire. then that's great. You it's know, kind of they, like making they fun of all the things that we do. Well, yeah, Culturally. that's what it is. Like that's the culture. Like, like the Babylon Bee when it was good before it was just silly political hackiness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it was so much like we're making fun of the thing, but I thought you were trying to say this is the thing. Well, yeah, yeah it was just but <laughs> so that that is the problem is like it says lots of Christian culture talking points, but then other times it makes fun of it's Christian fun of culture. Christian culture. So it's like it. It's like hard to take that other stuff serious. I don't know how anybody takes a lot of that stuff serious anyway. <laughs> but it's just... 
you know, just the manly man. Like, yeah, we yeah, do that. You have to lead your family. Blah, 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 blah. You know, <laughs> all that sort of stuff. But then other times, they'll do stuff like, I would like to to pray in my prayer language. They're like, like tongues. Like, oh, Spanish. Because <laughs> the lady was Latino. Yeah. Latina. Or whatever. Yeah, but it was just... There's some funny jokes. Yeah, there's a bunch of yeah, different stuff like that. like, we need to there come together been, as a Christian family. There may have been... And beat you up and be the winner. Okay, so the main problem with this movie is that the, the kids are shoehorned in. You could take the kids out entirely. Because they didn't write this movie for the kids. They wrote this movie about the married couple's the, relationships. Mm -hmm. And they shoehorn this thing in with the, the daughter having a slight romantic... Slight. Could have been cut completely. At camp. You know, could but it's so it's so completely. iconic. Like, you go to church camp and there's a boy. Yeah. <laughs> but the, so, you know, you had to have that. But then And then there's the, the whole subplot about the little boy... Not liking being athletic and not acting manly enough, so he does this big thing. We won't do the spoilers or whatever. Okay. But it's just like you could have cut that out too, because it doesn't. The movie isn't about that. The movie isn't about the kids. The movie is about the dad's arc. <laughs> and harmonica. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's about the the main character's dad, dad's arc, and then the other dad has a sub arc. What? Like, like a sub arc? Uh, like like yeah. That you know, and they kind of the coincide. Wives and then the but even then, the wives are only there to facilitate the plot of the men having this arc. Because <laughs> the guy would have never had to go to the church camp if the wife didn't make him, you know. So it's like she's there to facilitate the oh, plot. It, it isn't about her, you know. It's like all the stuff about the women and the kids. It's like the shoehorn in. <laughs> yeah. But I mean. But secular movies do that, too. I'm not saying that they made this mistake because they're Christians trying to make a movie. <laughs> it's just, as far, just as scripts and movies go, this is something that you see in movies that people say are, are, aren't the greatest. Not that they're bad. It's just, you could have cut that whole thing. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> yeah, mostly it was ridiculous and absurd. And well, it was it was fun enough. And it was fun. You I know, mean, that, for that kind there of like some it's funny, a funny goofy thing. things. Yeah, I think I was thinking maybe there would be part of it that would be like, oh, there's the punch, there's the feel he feels, there's the steer. but that really wasn't. No, I mean you could come away with like, yeah, blah 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 blah, but yeah, yeah, so it was fun. It was just a thing. Yeah. Yeah, but I really like the skit guys, and I think that you should watch the skit guys. We'll yeah. go back to the skit guys. Well, that's the, and some of the funniest stuff was on the little side characters. That was. Oh. Yeah, yeah. like the kitchen lady? Yeah, the, the, the weird relationship between the kitchen lady and the dude that was in Courageous. <laughs> that other Christian movie. Uh -huh. I think that was him. But, and then the, the two, the Bigfoot. Thing, Hunters. yeah, that was like a in thing the, in the woods. Yeah, it's like here's they what were... I think. I think it would have been fun to be on the set and getting to know like the actual people and hanging yeah. out with them. That's what I think would be fun. Yeah, I mean, there's yeah. some good scenes. There's scenes that are fun. There's scenes where and it did. I mean, the guys are did... dressed like, like like in baked potato togas for a period of the movie. It's oh, fun. Yeah, yeah. The, all the stuff with the Bigfoot guys and their their camouflage suits. It's like, that stuff's funny. Yeah. The, I mean, the beaver was goofy. <laughs> and and it's in and of itself that it was there. But after I was, I was like, okay, apparently we're doing this. There's we're a, doing this now. There's a beaver with personality uh, yeah. that pops in and, and out of the movie. This is how cheesy <laughs> it was for me. I was watching it, and I was like, oh, I want to go to church camp. Because <laughs> I'm that girl. Can we just yeah. say that I'm that girl? We, it's go, to okay. we go to church camp. Yeah. Family camp every year. Like, oh. <laughs> but, yeah. There's something about sitting outside by a fire that makes me feel spiritual. <laughs> I don't know. I can't yeah. help it. I mean, it's a, uh, if you've seen, 
<laughs> if you've seen any camp dun, movie, dun, like, dun. like, cause this movie made me think of like, obviously it made me think of Ernest Goes to Camp. Uh-huh. So, I mean. And the, the other thing that you said earlier. And other camp movies. Huh? A lampoon kind of humor. Yeah, yeah. In camp so movies. it's obviously, they're doing like, these are movies that the skit guys obviously loved growing up. Or when they were in college or whatever it was. But obviously Christians can't watch those movies. Well, they could watch Ernest Goes to Camp. But <laughs> but other camp movies like... Let's make fun of ourselves. You know, That's kind of what it was, meatballs really. Meatballs or, you know, different oh. different weird camp movies. Yeah. I, I don't really know the reference. Yeah. But it's like... Well, in all the camp movies, it's like there's this weird competition. Usually it's with the other camp. Like there's another oh, camp yeah, yeah, and yeah. the camps are... There's yeah. a camp on the other side of the lake, you know, and it's like there's this competition and they have a big competition at the end and which camp's going to win. And one yeah. one camp is the nerds and one camp is the jocks and that sort of thing. Only in this, it's like one family is really good at these competitions and the new family isn't good at the competitions and they're going for the camp trophy. You know, it's just... <laughs> yeah, it's just it's like, that classic <laughs> iconic thing you got going. And Well, it... Yeah. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> Yeah. I'm trying not to be mean because there's no well, need I'm to be not, mean. I'm not doing that. I know that. So you're saying that iconic, but it's like it's tropey, is what people oh. call it in movies, you know. <laughs> it's like a trope. <laughs> I mean, and it's happened so much. Whenever you see it, you're like, oh, I know about this. Yeah. You know, it's, <laughs> it's know like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, but. But that's. I think I would have just liked to have been there and hung yeah. out with my fine friends making a movie. Yeah. So, this movie's real bread and butter is the Christian satire. You know? Uh-huh. But I can understand some Christians being maybe upset about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. But that really is what this movie yep. does best. Yeah. Because it's what's offering something original opposed to stuff you've seen a million times uh -huh. in these movies. So... <laughs> uh -huh. But... They were making a comedy for the Christian audience, and I thought it was at the same time. yeah. I thought it I thought it was funny, so that means it was successful at what it intended to do. There you go. <laughs> <sighs> but someone who isn't like me, I don't know if people who aren't familiar with the Christian culture right would like this at all uh, yeah, because they would just be, be like, like what is this happening? is way subpar version of everything I've seen oh I see yeah <laughs> but as someone who knows all about the Christian Look culture oh. scooched on over to your side hey yeah. I thought it was you know there was funny things yeah but. there were funny things anyway do you, do you have any more thoughts about that movie well my only thoughts are I would encourage you to watch the skit guys yes and be inspired they make good and laughed. sketches laugh on the internet laugh, laugh. little throwback situation yeah. little things that make you think about the lord the lord that sort of stuff mm -hmm. yeah there's some real good ones yeah yeah that's all i have to say yeah it was a fun time yeah oh and we had a romantic date Yep, now I gotta get this back on. Oh, yeah, because this is very important to this it's video. very important. We gotta take a walk. We are not endorsed by this light no, company. We're not really at all. The night. But I got an Eddie Bauer in case you wanna know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a paid endorsement. Nope, just letting so. you know. <laughs> anyway, but anyway, now I say the thing I always say. But that's all my opinion. And my opinion doesn't matter. And your opinion doesn't matter. What? It doesn't matter? Nope. And her opinion doesn't what? matter. What? Out of nowhere. We just put our opinions on the internet. I didn't you know? see that coming at all. Yeah, I know. It's what we do as a culture. And no one knows why we do it. I don't know why we do it. But we can't seem to stop. We keep doing it. Yeah. So, those are our thoughts and opinions thrown on top of the thoughts and opinions pile, soon to be buried by everybody else's thoughts and opinions. I don't think that <laughs> many people are going to have thoughts and opinions oh. about this topic. But uh, for what it's worth, as someone in the Christian subculture, I thought it was I thought it was humorous. Uh, and I've already talked about what I thought its flaws were. So, <laughs> but yeah. Tune anyway. in next time. That's all I have to say about that movie. See you a different day.